Hey, so I figured I might as well record this while I was doing it. So I've got um, a bug filed, well, an issue request in the forums about SSK2's detection code. And it seems that, um, anyways, it seems that the iPhone X detection code is not working. So I whipped together a program that you're seeing here. It will basically go through and let me just show it to you. Uh, it will show you whether or not you're on a device or in the simulator. And then if you're on an iPhone and if you are on an iPhone, which one in particular out of the listed ones that the uh, SSK knows about. And then it'll put out some other information. This is debug details for me. Um, I'm going to post this video more than likely in my request for help. Uh, just so folks know what's going on here anyways um i don't even i'm currently i do have a mac but i'm running this on my pc so i'm running it in um, vmware which should be fine for this purpose because i'm gonna what i'm gonna do now is um you can see that i've run the same program in the uh corona simulator on my virtual mac um and the reason I'm running this in my uh, VMware station, just for folks who are wondering, is um, I like to work all in the same like environment. So I've got two monitors and a keyboard and a mouse and all that. I have a laptop that I do my official builds on, but I like to do my dev work all in the same place. So this helps me do that. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and build this and run it in the Xcode simulator targeting the iPhone X11 II. And I'll fast forward at this point, so because nobody wants to wait while this happens. Okay, all right. I can see immediately what the problem is. Um, regardless of the fact that I'm running in the Xcode uh, simulator, the architecture info is uh, still whatever the actual architecture is that this system is running on. So my system is running on x86, which means that it's running on a PC, the actual fundamental underlying architecture. If you were running on, a, if I were running this on a real Mac, it would say, I don't know, whatever the Mac's uh, CPU architecture is that you're running on. So I don't know what that'll be for you guys. Um, Probably, actually, most of you will also have x86. So it looks like my code is not going to work to detect whether or not you're on a uh, iPhone X in the Xcode simulator thus far, unless I can think of some other tricky way to do it. Um, hmm, that is interesting. Okay, so the, the reason, for those who don't know, the reason that this is not going to work is that, let me see if I have the code here. Yeah, here it is. Uh, let me. Okay, so the code, the way this works is, is when you look at the architectural information for a particular uh, device, specifically for the iPhones, you're going to get back a string that contains iPhone and then some numbers or uh, numbers, comma, and something else. And um, let me just bring this up here just for folks who are curious. Um, if you have SSK2, you can go to the uh, system.lua file and then you'll find on line 54, as I'm showing here, that this link is available. And there's a couple of other links because there's different places to get this information. And uh, let me just uh, bring up the browser and I'll show you what we're talking about here. So if you go to that page, what you're going to see is a bunch of um, identifiers for the different iPhones. And this is basically what I do. I grab the architectural info, info string, which includes the identifier. And then by comparing, I can see exactly what iPhone you're on. So for the iPhone 10, what I would really expect to see is, let me see if I can get these both aligned so you can see them. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so on the iPhone X, iPhone 10, what I would expect the architectural info to have in it is iPhone 10.6 or iPhone 10.3. And that's clearly not occurring because the um, even though we're running in the Xcode simulator, it's not actually 
setting the architectural info to the, the correct value. Instead, what it's doing is it's pulling it from the, um, the actual underlying architecture that the OS is running on, the, the host OS, which is, this is bizarro. So I've got iOS running on Xcode, running on Windows. So at the, the bottom of that heap is an x86 64-bit uh, architecture. So there's our problem. Hopefully the folks who are running this for me on their Xcode devices will see something different. Um, they should see iPhone 10, 3, and 6. Anyways, at this point, I don't have a fix for it. So I'll post back to you guys later if I do figure out some kind of tricky way to detect what your system is on, um, on the Xcode simulator. All right. This video is long enough. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye.